Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ananda. That is Royal. I feel like I've been going from posting vlogs for a minute. It's a lot of stuff that I need to update you guys on. So y'all, we getting in the car. Oh, I'm trying to air it out. I got to blast it. We in the car now. Royal's already in here. About to get ready to go to Target. I Y'all see the little sign. All right, let's see how this little trip gonna go. I'm trying to make it quick because I didn't even eat nothing this morning. I was just like, it's 12. Uh oh. Y'all right? Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now, baby. I took a half and she took the whole thing, slow down, baby. We took a trip, now we on your block, and it's like a ghost town, baby. Where did these niggas be at when they said they doing all this and all that? Tired of beefing you bums, you can't even pay me enough to react. Been waking up in the crib, but sometimes I don't even know where I'm at. Don't pay that nigga songs in this party, I can't even listen to it. Anytime that I run into somebody, it must be a victory lap, ayy Shawty come sit on my lap, ayy They say I'm busy to snap This in between us is not like a store, this isn't a closable gap, ayy I see some niggas attack, and don't end up making it back I know that they had the crib going crazy down bad What they had didn't last, damn baby Sometimes we laugh and sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now Baby I took a half and she took the whole thing, slow down, baby, we took a trip, now we on your block and it's like a ghost town, baby, where did these niggas be at when they say they doing all this and all that? getting ready to go take him to daycare real quick and right now i'm about to make him some eggs to eat for breakfast these are the eggs that i use and he just had a cup of milk this is the brand of milk that we use for him his doctor recommended it this isn't the flavor that i use but they didn't have the one that I normally get, so I just got this one. I'll explain his daycare situation in a little bit, cause that's like a whole story of why I switched daycares or whatever, but I did end up switching his daycare. He was going to like a normal facility, but now he's in a home daycare, which I love like so much better than the last one he was at because they did not show him like no type of attention at all at that last daycare and it was really really pissing me off but like it's really hard to find a good daycare for your child like it takes a minute because you're not gonna like 
the first one you find is not going to be i don't think any daycare will be like perfect you know what i'm saying they're all going to have their their issues or something that doesn't completely align with what you want but i actually like the one that he's at right now like it's been going pretty well so i can see like a big change in his behavior and just the way that he's reacting to going there like it's just so different to explain what i have been dealing with royal as far as like his eating and stuff because for a long long time he would not even touch like any type of table food he would not even attempt to eat it i have him in something called feeding therapy which is also kind of like incorporated with speech therapy so she does speech therapy with him as well as feeding therapy but with the feeding therapy um royal is really sensitive to like different textures of foods and like if i put something on his in his mouth or something touches his tongue that he doesn't like the texture of it he will immediately gag and try to like get it out of his mouth so that's a big thing that i've been dealing with with him also now we're at the point um from the feeding therapy from the help of his therapist we're at the point where he actually wants to eat food now he wants table food anytime i'm eating a plate of food he will come to my food and try to like pick the food out and put it in his mouth so that's big 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 progress but the problem is that once he gets it in his mouth he doesn't understand that he has to chew the food before he swallows it he'll literally put it in his mouth and immediately throw it back and try to swallow it and when he can't swallow it then that's when he'll like start gagging and if i don't immediately like get it out of his mouth he will throw up so i've been dealing with that for like a, a long time he's um 19 months or 19 going on 20 months and um yeah i'm just now being able to give him table food to eat so the therapy is actually working really well while he's eating i'm gonna just explain to y'all like the rundown of why i changed his daycare and like all the things that i was dealing with at his um last daycare so for one i think a lot of people was in my comments too asking me how i found a daycare for him so first thing you basically really just have to research like figure out where you want your daycare like what area what city you want your daycare to be in and i wanted his daycare to be closer to where i go to school at rather than being close to home because i go to school probably about 30 45 no like 45 minutes away from where i live literally just figure out where area you want and like figure out what things are most important to you so to me I really wanted because he was so young and like he didn't really have many ways to communicate with me or communicate to me like if something was wrong or anything like that I wanted a daycare that had the live streaming so I literally would just search daycares in the area that I wanted it in that offered live streaming so and you can also call these facilities and ask them if they offer it or whatever questions you have a lot of times like for the bigger daycares they will send you to like an operator so the operator most likely doesn't have all the answers to your questions so you would just ask them to transfer you to the actual daycare so that they can you can actually talk to somebody who actually works there but and then you also after you figure out after you find a couple daycares you want to tour them and like actually go there and see what they have going on like don't just send your child to a daycare that you act, you never stepped foot in but um go ask them if they offer tours because a lot of people i know still don't do tours because of covid i don't understand that covid has been existing well covid has been a, an issue for how many years now like i don't understand why whatever not gonna get into it but if they offer a tour you definitely want to go tour their the daycare first and then once I toured his daycare, I went with the first one that I actually toured. And um, here, eat. Why are you playing with it? So, okay, so when we first, when I first got him in the daycare, 
everything was pretty cool like they ended up not putting him in the class that he was originally supposed to be in because he wasn't uh, I think for the class he's supposed to be in the, your kid had to be walking and they had to be drinking out of a sippy cup Royal was still drinking out of a bottle at the time he had just turned 13 months so he I was still transitioning him to a sippy cup um and then he wasn't walking yet so they put him in the class above that so he was in there with like kind of like younger babies as well which was fine because he did need that extra like attention that that class offers so that worked out really well like things were really well in that classroom for a few months of course he was crying and stuff because he had to adjust to being in a new environment with people he doesn't know anything about so that was kind of difficult for me to you know obviously as a mom giving my putting my child somewhere he doesn't want to really be um that was kind of hard for me but it was a little bit better being able to it was better i was able to be okay with it because of the fact that i could see him on the camera so i could see how he was reacting i could see how they were treating him and things like that so that was good the, the problem started um when he transitioned to the class that he was actually supposed to be in that class y'all it had way too many kids like way too many kids and they were like so much bigger than him because i think that class was like uh 13 months to like 18 months or whatever but the size of an 18 month year old compared to a 13 month is like it's a it's a difference for sure so when i switched him over to that class the first day they actually came to me right before that and was like hey we think it's time for him to um go into the next class we think that he's ready they really just wanted to switch him to that class so that they could have an opening in the other class that he was originally originally in so they can put more kids into that into that class that's trying to get into the daycare i think that's what they were really trying to do but i was like okay that's fine we can put him in the the new class and see how he reacts to it and things like that and they were like okay um we'll let you know how he is doing and things like that throughout the day because it took a minute for me to get camera access to the new class for some reason. So I couldn't see him the first day that he was in there. So they were like, yeah, we're just going to send you update an update on how he's acting or whatever. I never got that update, by the way. Um, but I had to go to school that day. So I couldn't come and like, you know, peep in and see how he's doing and things like that. So, um... I'm trying to think where the first problem was. I honestly, the main issue with them was that I did not like their attitude. Like they had a very, very like nice, nasty type of attitude, like a big ass smile on their face. But the words that's coming out their mouth is really like, like fucking, I'm sorry, excuse my language. They would have like a big smile on their face, but the words that was coming out their mouth was like really smart. You know what I'm saying? Like real smart responses to my questions. And it was just like, that was like really throwing me off. Like, but, um, you okay? Hey. But, um, yeah. So aside from that, I don't remember what, where the first issue came. It would always be like little tiny things that would happen where I would be like, okay, maybe I can overlook it. But because it's hard to find a daycare that is a good daycare. So I would be afraid that if I would take him out of the daycare that he was in and put him in a new one, the new one would start coming up with problems. And I was just like, I don't want to have to go through that. Like, So I think the first issue, but aside from the attitude or whatever, also, by the way, they had like really, really young women working there like my age and i'm 22 so it might have been a couple of them that was actually younger than me working there so that was that was something because yeah and then first of all 
when I spoke to the director the first day that he was in there, when I walked in, it was so much freaking chaos. Like, it was so chaotic. Like, I understand kids gonna be kids, but it was way too many kids in there. Kids just running around, screaming, crying. Um, at the time when I first walked in, it was two teachers in there, but it looked like one of the teachers was getting ready to leave. So that means one teacher was about to be in there with about 13 kids. And apparently that's like the ratio that it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like 13 kids to one teacher type of thing, which I think is ins insane because me, myself, I can barely like... I have an issue keeping up with him is watching every little thing that he does and he's one baby so imagine me trying to watch 13 babies like that's just too much for one person especially a young girl that's like my age so I didn't like that um, the first class that he was in when I first put him in a daycare the lady his teacher he had one teacher that was always in there and she was way older she was probably like in her 40s so you know, I knew that she was experienced, that she knew what she was doing. So I was comfortable with that. I was comfortable with that. This new class, the girl was like my age. And I could just tell, like, she didn't really have experience. Because how can you if you're that young? And um, it just, I don't know, it rubbed me the wrong way. So anyways, when I brought it to the director, my problem or my concern, she kind of like brushed it off and was like, yeah, um, he's an only child, isn't he? Like, trying to make it seem like I'm just overprotective of him or, like, I'm spoiling him or something. Like, I'm like, yeah, he's an only child. And she was like, well, yeah, that's the ratio that it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be 13 kids to one teacher. She was like, it may seem like a lot, but they can do it. They can watch all those kids. And I was just like, really? Because I was asking her, like, wow, like, one person can pay attention to everything, 13 every 13 whatever every kid individually like oh i think the first issue was my mom picked him up and when she had got there they were playing outside and she said that royal had a wood chip in his mouth and it had to have, he had to have been putting it in his mouth because um the teachers weren't even looking at him when she got there and so i was like there's no like I, that's what really like raised my concern because I'm like how do y'all not see that he's putting a wood chip in his mouth and I was just like it was two teachers out there so imagine one teacher bro there's no way that you can pay attention to every kid like it's just no way he never really had one specific teacher for his class which is really annoying because imagine me trying to explain something about him to one teacher and then the next day it's a completely different teacher in there and i have to sit here and explain everything to this teacher and it's like bro every day it was like different teachers like switching out in his class and all throughout the day as well and i'm just like there's no way that he can adjust to this this class if y'all are constantly um switching out the teachers and i just didn't like that so now i have him in a home daycare so hopefully y'all i don't really have issues with it i don't it doesn't really seem like i will she seems like a really really nice lady she knows what she's doing i could tell she has like a lot of experience so um i'ma just you know keep praying over it and um hopefully you know it turns out to be really good for him but i can tell that it already is like he is doing so much better. Oh, yeah. And I forgot to mention, y'all, like, there's no way, there's no way that, like, you can off-rip first encounter tell if a daycare is going to be, like, good to your child or if they're going to do everything they're supposed to do, if it's, going to, if it's supposed to be everything you want it to be. Like, there's no way that you can, there's not really a lot of ways that you can tell how a daycare is really going to be. Like, of course, there are different signs and stuff but like for the most part you really don't know until you see your child there because at first it's going they're going to be like extra nice to you and they're just going to put on their best impression to get you to see your child there but like you're really not going to know how the daycare really is until your child starts going there and you actually start dealing with them so yeah you just have to really it's like trial and error
I really wish that I had one of those like handheld vacuums so I could just vacuum up all these little crumbs that he be creating. Hey guys, um, it's another day. Today is Sunday. We haven't really been doing much today. Didn't really do much yesterday. Please don't mind our appearance. Come here. Here's Roy. Probably can't see him. But yeah, we haven't really been doing much, but chilling. I've been working, doing work all day, putting together some flyers for like um, a business that wanted me to, to design a flyer for them. So I've been working on that all day. I do do graphic designing. If anybody wants a logo made, well, I don't really know if I want to get into logos or not. Cause sometimes people don't really be knowing what they want and it's kind of hard communicating back and forth, trying to figure out how somebody wants their logo to be created. But I do do flyers. Like right now I was just creating a flyer for my lash tech who is trying to, to have a lash class and she wanted me to put together a flyer. This is just a sample of what I've put together so far. Is it focused? So yeah, isn't that cute? I still have to go through and like perfect a lot of details of it, but that was just like a little sample for me to show her how far, you know, how much I've gotten done so far. But right now I'm literally just about to open this package that just came in the mail. Hold on, my camera is like off balance. Don't mind what he's, he's carrying around an empty pill bottle. He just finds anything that to like play with, but it's empty if you see him playing with it. But um, this package just came in the mail from Amazon. It is his new potty. We are going to be starting potty training really soon. I'm not really gonna be really strict on it right now. Um, just to give, Royal is 20 months, so he'll be two really, really soon. And I just kind of want to just start introducing the potty to him so he can have like some idea of what it is. makes the flush sound he's going to love that I'm gonna take it so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take it to the bathroom and I'm gonna sit it in front of the toilet in my bathroom and I'm gonna sit on the toilet so I can show him like what to do so hopefully he can see that this is something he's supposed to sit on and use because right now he's just looking at it as a toy which by the way just in case anybody was doesn't understand my humor i don't i don't expect him to understand what this is or how to use it right now because he's still kind of like you know he's not completely ready i don't think to potty train but i still want to introduce it to him so i got sins on my mind and some M's. Got a lot of M's on my mind and my friends. Yeah, I keep my friends on my mind. I'm in love. I'm in love with two girls. I want to time and they tens. That's why I got tens on my mind. I got M's. Got a lot of M's on my mind and my friends. Yeah, I keep my friends on my mind. So repent. I need me some Jesus in my life. Hey. I'm not a group, but I 
got to my boyfriend's house that's where i was on the way to but i um dropped royal off at daycare probably like an hour ago but um, i'm about to go in here i brought my book bag so i can get some work done we're supposed to be going on a lunch date to get some mexican food so i'm gonna bring y'all with along for that um but yeah i'm probably gonna pick the camera back up when we're about to go get some food which will probably be in a couple of hours but yeah y'all i just wanted to let y'all know what i was doing Yeah, to pick around all the chips to grab one chip. Go get a good dip with that one. 
man, them be the best dips. But you do it, I'm not sure. I'm not putting your name on it. Thank you.